Well, I've kind of wanted it since I got into high school. I've, I want to play football on a high level. And uh, I knew that I have the ability and the, the physical attributes. So I thought getting that invite, being able to go down there and prove myself in front of coaches because they don't look very highly on the competition in Maine. So seeing that I can make the plays I do outside of Maine, it was, I thought it was really cool. Yeah, you know, what was the uh, feedback that you got from those coaches uh, down there against, the, as you said, the na national competition? Um, they, were, they were surprised. They didn't think they were like, uh, oh, this kid from Maine, you know, like he's big, but can he really do what he does on film? And I, I showed him that I could, so I thought it was cool. Uh, yeah, so I posted clips from it from one-on-ones and that type of stuff and that got the attention of other high-level coaches and um, like I said earlier it kind of just showed that I can do the stuff that I do outside of me. So. Uh, I mean not really I have friends that play college football so working out with them obviously and then doing my own thing lifting with the team we left all through the, the summer so that really helps me and then uh, going to different colleges for camps that I get invited to so just playing as much football as I can. Yeah, Tegan, uh, Lincoln Merrill, Eli Soren, all the guys that have come up through here, just learning from them and their experiences is, it's awesome. Yeah, you know, it seems like you and Tegan are very similar, the, the height and, and whatnot, you know. How much did you learn from him uh, two years ago? Uh, I mean, coming in, I, when I was in middle school, I was a bigger, like, bigger kid. I played the offensive line, and then freshman year, I made the switch to receiver. And having him be like a mentor was awesome. He's an awesome person, so being around him is fun. I think the biggest thing is just how reliable he is and his frame, of course, too. He's able to go up and get balls that no one else really is. And he has such good hands that he can pretty much catch anything. It's so reliable. Uh, yeah, he started to tell us about some of the camps he's going to, some of the recognition he was getting. And, I mean, it's great for him. He really deserves it. I mean, he's always working hard. He's showing up to every practice, everything in the summer. and. He deserves all of it, and I'm really happy for him. Well, he's an incredibly hard worker. He has an extremely high football IQ. Um, he's got obviously has all the uh, measurables. He's tall. He's he's got long arms. He's he lifts all the time. He's very strong. Um, he's you know very well put together junior. So um, he's just a guy that we count on when we get in the jam for a big play or uh, first down or that sort of stuff. Um, you know, he's prided, prided himself on becoming who he is right now, too. Like, he's a year-round lifter. Um, he does track for me, too, and I, in, the, in the spring. He lifts right through the spring. He always is thinking about football. He goes in to all the camps, and, and, he's, and he puts himself out there, and he does all the right things. So uh, he's just a football player through and through. Uh, well, yeah. Um, so surprisingly, Scarborough didn't, didn't try to double him as much as some teams do. Uh, like Portland, we saw Portland a couple of times this summer, and they know Braden, so Portland, in a seven on seven, so, and Braden, um, they doubled Braden, uh, so a lot of those Southern Maine teams try to take Braden away, so um, Scarborough didn't, so we took advantage of that, and actually, I think a couple of times, Braden just went over the top of two people and just made a play. That's what he does, you know?